Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today we're going to be doing the second episode of our 100% walkthrough on Dark Souls 3. So last episode we did the uh, Cemetery of Ash and today we are going to be doing the High Walls of Lothric, which is the second area you come to the game, like it or not I guess. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool looking place and uh, straight into it. Uh, we come here to the first bonfire, you can't miss that, and uh, you can go left or right here. So first we're going to come over here to the right down these stairs and to uh, this bridge. So before going across the bridge, we're going to hop down here and hop down once more. You could just come down the stairs, I guess, but whatever. Uh, this is so that this door over here is going to be a shortcut uh, later on in the level. We're going to be showing that near the end. Uh, so continue across the bridge, count these stairs uh, until the end of the circle. We're going to get a longbow here. Just watch out, one of these enemies does try and transform if you don't kill him in time uh, with the abyss. Uh, anyway, that's it for this area for now. Uh, we're going to head back to the first bonfire and this time we're going to head down to the left to the other bridge. So uh, there's a few guys here. Not, most of them don't really do anything, but there are a few of them that will attack you. Uh, there's a soul there. And uh, before heading down below the dragon, we're going to head up here to the left and uh, head up the left one more time. Uh, all the way at the top here, uh, there's going to be a dead end, but there's going to be some binoculars here. Uh, so binoculars for the first time are actually kind of cool to have screenshots because there's nothing really in the way. Your character's not in the way. There's no HUD in the way or anything like that kind of thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, now we're going to go behind the dragon, uh, drop down, and uh, come through this little tunnel and get some pine resin. And um, there's going to be one more item around here, I believe, just the other side of this table, slightly hidden, which are a few fire bombs. So now that's it for this bit, and we are going to head down this ladder. Uh, this one item down here, I believe, can't miss it, nothing really... Um, special but um, anyway now this this next bit is a bit tricky so the easiest way to do this is the first time you get to this area just sprint up this left side uh, before the dragons actually even there and just just pick up as much items as you can uh, you can tank most of the fire you can actually even roll through the main blast of fire but these little um fire droplets or whatever that left get left behind will um, do some DPS and it won't really let you heal most of the time you can get lucky and you can heal sometimes but um, there are some cool uh, items there like Claymore, the Club, Ember uh, so yeah just try and tank it out as your best if you've got enough health it shouldn't be too difficult I'll get really lucky here and just get away anyway uh, you can actually kill the dragon with a lot of arrows, but um, all he'll give you is a large titanite shard, so it's not really worth it. So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, coming below the dragon, we're going to open the gate, and uh, in this next room, there's going to be our first mimic. Uh, so, it's not really too hard to kill. It's a lot like the mimics on Dark Souls 1. If they do hit you, they will do a lot of damage. Uh, but anyway, once we kill him, we get the deep battle axe, and that's it for this uh, room. So, we're going to head up the ladder and out this door. Uh, this will actually open a shortcut if you come the other way um, below the dragon. But we're not going to do that because there's no items there anyway. So that's why we went this way. Uh, picked up that item over there and coming through this door, we're going to head quickly straight up to the right. And we're going to find our second bonfire of the level. So uh, on this platform, there's going to be one item over here to the left. Uh, even though I'm changing between two characters, it's just because one of the characters accidentally picked one of the sections of the uh, items up. So I changed character to record it again. So don't worry about that. We're not missing anything. Uh, anyway, once we've done that, we're going to come back down to where we was uh, originally and pick this item up just here. We're going to drop down once. Uh, we can drop down twice, but uh, we're going to be doing that at the end of the video. We're going to be coming back to this area a bit later on once we've got a certain key. Uh, pick up that soul just there. And uh, we're going to come to this roof area. So uh, on this roof, there's going to be one of one of the one of the enemies is going to transform with the abyss or whatever, like uh, before at the start of the level. Um, pick up those fire bombs. Uh, we're going to come all the way down here to the left. We're going to pick up this item. The reason I'm coming from the bottom is so we don't scare this crystal lizard off the edge because he'll start running away and probably jump off the edge. So that's why I came and got the item first and come from the bottom way but anyway now we're going to go to the corner of the building and go down this uh, ladder and hop down here onto this roof and we're going to pick up a few black fire bombs which will come in pretty handy uh, they do quite a lot of damage 
So yeah, uh, coming on the other big balcony, we get is fire bombs. So we could just hop down that long ladder just there. It's just a quicker way down, but we'd miss a whole load of items out. So we're not going to do that. We're going to come into this room, head to the left, and we're going to pick up uh, Dark Souls Freeze uh, version of Lloyd's Talismans. There's a few of them just there. One more item, Titanite Shard over here at the end. Head back down to the main part of the building. Uh, there's another item hidden in this corner to the left. Uh, there's going to be a spear guy here, so just watch out. Obviously, it's already dead on this on this video, but yeah. Uh, heading over here to the left, there's going to be another door here with the uh, broadsword. Uh, we could head down to the next room, but uh, we're going to go back and take this hidden path to the right, a slightly hidden path. It's just going to lead to the same uh, building or room down the bottom, so there's no point taking the stairs. Uh, we're going to pick up the green blossom over here, and it's going to be a slightly hard to see... Uh, chest here with um, Astoria straight sword So yeah, so make sure you don't miss that uh, hop down to the room um, before picking any of the items up here We're just gonna head up to the second floor and Come over here to the corner to the left and there's gonna be another chest the chests like are pretty hard to see sometimes in these dark rooms But uh, anyway, it's a shield in that one now we're just gonna head down to the room and uh, pick up the two or three items what are around there's going to be an Estus flash shard over here which is pretty good and uh, below the stairs there's going to be something else which is another titanite shard uh, but mainly in this room we are going to be able to uh, get the cell key which is down here down these stairs um, that is to the door that is on the bottom floor below the second bonfire, but we're going to be talking about that a bit later on anyway. So anyway, head out to the balcony, hop down. Uh, you're going to be pretty much on top of this rapier. Uh, there's going to be two embers, I believe, around here. And uh, yeah, that's that. Just watch out for the axe enemy around there. So yeah, so once we've done that, we're just going to head out to the next area and uh, head right first and head up the stairs. Uh, now we're just going to head back, turn back on ourselves up the next set of stairs and there's going to be a few items over here. There's going to be a cell there and on this uh, roof there's going to be a ring of sacrifice. So yes, yeah, so just hop back down. Uh, we're going to be where the axe guy was. Uh, now we're going to go back to the right. This time we're not going to turn on ourselves but we're going to continue straight. Uh, there's going to be a bit of an ambush in this, in this hallway. There's going to be some green moss over there. Or green blossom, sorry. I don't know why I called it blossom, whatever. And uh, there's going to be a lift here which was going to take us back to the start of the level. Like I mentioned, right near the start, um, there was a gate that was shut. And that is this gate just here. So we're pretty much at the start of the level now. A nice little shortcut if we die against the boss. So yeah. Anyway, there's obviously nothing up here we can do except rest at the bonfire. So once we've done that, head back down the lift. Uh, head all the way back down to where they ambushed you and just continue all the way down until we get to the split path. This time we're going to go to the left. There's going to be a item here. Um, though this area does seem kind of open and big, there's actually not really much to do. Uh, just head over here to the left and head up the stairs. And there's going to be a Lutheran, which is like a Halberg. Just here. Uh, there's one more, well two things we can actually do before going to the boss here. Uh, one of them is to go up opposite stairs. There's going to be a blue guy here, which is pretty tough. Uh, he does hit really hard, and he can um, he can bless his weapon pretty much. He can charge his weapon with blessed, I believe it is. And yeah, uh, just try and be as be as aggressive as possible at the start, especially if you got a warrior. So yeah. Uh, once we've done that, there's nothing else up here. So now we're just going to head into the cathedral. Uh, the NPC here is going to give us the banner that we need to continue to the next area after we kill the boss. And also this is going to be the way of the blue. Um, so that's a covenant. Uh, this an optional thing you can do here that I don't really recommend doing at earlier levels. Uh, you, you will be able to do this a, late, a lot later on in the game anyway. But um, you do have the option to uh, kill her. And you will activate a, a secret boss battle. Or at least for these these earlier levels it's a secret boss battle so uh, if you're interested in that you just kill her pick the item up she drops and um, walk to the statue which is behind her chair and it will uh, activate a cutscene and you'll be able to fight the dancer which uh, on low levels is pretty ridiculous to fight but you know it's not exactly a hard boss like her movesets really predictable and all that but 
you don't really do much damage if you're on low levels. So, yeah, it's up to you anyway. But it's a neat little secret, I guess, if you want to fight the boss early. But anyway, um, enough of that. That's all we've got to do here. Uh, we're going to head all the way to the boss and um, kill him. And um, let, like I said before ending the video, I am going to go back to to the second bonfire in a second. Um, once we kill the boss, we get his soul anyway. And yeah, uh, if we go through the big red door, we get to the next area, which is going to be next episode, which is going to be the undead settlement. And yeah, so before ending the video, we're going to head back to the second bonfire and head down to where we drop off, uh, head down to the room below it. And this time we're going to drop off twice. So once and down here we can drop off again. Um, there's going to be two doors down here. One of them is going to be locked until later on in the game, but there is going to be one that we can come through here. We've got the mail breaker straight in front of us. Uh, I nearly forgot about it, but there's a few throwing knives behind me over here in this corner. I think eight of them maybe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, there's one more thing. We can go down here to the right and uh, with the cell key we can open this door right here. Uh, this is going to be an NPC merchant that will go back to Firelink Shrine. So that's pretty cool. And also he will give us uh, the blue tear stone ring. So yeah, that's it for the High Wall of Lothric. Hopefully you enjoyed it, guys. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, please let me know in the comments. Uh, if this was helpful, please go a like and subscribe if you're not. And we will see you next time, guys.